I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on derivatives. The question here is that we are given the graph of a derivative. So this graph is of a derivative, not of the function. Okay. Find the following for the function. Right. So we are given graph of derivative. We have to find all these characteristics for a function that's kind of important to understand we need to find possible number of turning points interval of increasing interval of decreasing number of points of inflection and then sketch possible graph for the function and its second derivative so that's a very interesting question you can always pause the video answer and then look into my suggestions now let's try to answer all these questions. First one, possible number of turning points. Well, this graph is for the derivative and uh, what you realize is that derivative equals to zero implies that we have a turning point, right? So there are actually three zeros here. So when you say possible number of turning points, the answer is three. So these are the three turning points. The next part is interval of increasing. So when is f of x is increasing? That is to say that the value increases. So when we say interval of increasing from the derivative, how you figure it out? That really means that the derivative is greater than zero. Only if derivative is positive, function will be increasing, correct? So as you can clearly see, from minus three to zero, the function is positive, and therefore, from minus three to zero, the function should be increasing. And then after three, the function is positive. So you can say union after three till infinity, right? So that is the interval when the function is increasing. Interval of decreasing, when, when the derivative is less than zero, function will be decreasing. So in this case, it is from minus infinity to minus three, negative portion, and from zero to three, union zero to three, right? So from derivative, we easily get all this information number of points of inflection now points of inflection is when second derivative is equal to zero which is if you see these are the turning points so at these points the second derivative will be zero so number of points of inflection are two which are these two points correct now, sketch possible graph for the function and for the second derivative. Now, since we just have found that we have two zeros for the second derivative, let me sketch second derivative first. So that is derivative of this function, f dash x. So in this interval, it is increasing, so the derivative has to be positive. Here it is decreasing, derivative is negative, zero and positive. So it gives rise to a parabola. So we could always sketch this curve like a parabola. Do you see that? So we could do kind of like this. Well, I'm not calculating any values here, but from the graph we are sketching. So that becomes our second derivative. Perfect. Now let's go to the function itself. The function has maximum or minimum at these points and you know the interval of increasing is between minus 3 to 0 and it is decreasing from minus infinity to 3. Turning points are these three. Taking that into consideration, a simple graph which I am going to 
make what could look like something like this. So we could have a function like this. Let me use, uh, okay, let me use this color. So what we could have is something like this, a turning point here, do you see that? A point of inflection at this point, that means the concavity changes and a turning point at zero. So the concavity changes, do you see that? And then point of inflection over here and the concavity changes and the turning point again at a zero. Do you see that? So, so it could be kind of like this. So that could be the function itself. So it's a quartic function with three turning points, two points of inflections, as discussed, right? So we are not actually going with any particular values, writing function, but approximately, that is how a function could be with given first derivative, that is how we could actually sketch the function and its second derivative. I hope it's, uh, it's easy to understand how we got all these values and how we sketched the function and the second derivative from the given derivative of the function. Feel free to post your comments and if you like and subscribe, that will be great. Thank you and all the best.